Welcome to Novatia Electronics Tutorials. I'm your host Maurice De Maar, and today in Mathematics 3 we will look at first order differential equations. First order differential equations can be divided into six groups, namely direct integration, integrations with separable variables, exact differential equations, linear equations, equations reducible to linear form like Bernoulli equations, homogeneous equations. In this section we will deal with direct integration and equations with separable variables. First we're going to have a look at direct integration. The problem comes in a simple form of dy over dx equals to the function of x. The integral will always resolve in the form of y equals to the integral of a function of x in terms of dx plus c. This is a standard form for direct integration. So let's look at this as an example. The problem comes in the form of dy over dx plus 1 over x squared equals to 0. First we see this is not the correct form to what we're used to or what direct integration is presented as. So therefore the first step has got to be to change this into the standard form. With dy over dx on the left and minus 1 over x squared on the right, we have a standard form. However, we do not have an elegant form for integration where the function of x can be integrated in terms of dx. So let's rewrite the equation in terms of dy on the left and the function of x in terms of dx on the right. In order to solve for y, we need to integrate the function of x in terms of dx. If you do not remember how to integrate this, from previous modules of integration, we can just go through the process again. We can apply the standard integral where y equals to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Most of you should recognize this as a standard integral. To resolve y, it's going to compare to 1 over x plus c, and this is the answer, y equals to 1 over x plus c. Now we're just going to go through the steps again. First, we start with a non-standard form and we need to rewrite it to a standard dy over dx on the left and the function of x on the right form. Step 2. We rewrite it in a form uh, so that the standard integral can be applied where we have dy on the left and the function of x in terms of dx on the right. Step 3. When we solve for y by introducing the integral to the function of x on the left. Step 4. We solve the integral by using a standard integral and get y equals to 1 over x plus c. Now we're going to have a look at the questions of separable variables. The problem is in the form of dy and dx and the function of y and the function of x. The standard form for this we can write as the function of x times dx is equal to the function of y times dy. When we integrate, we will always get the standard form where the integral is in the form of dx in terms of, or the function of x in terms of dx. Uh, which is equal to the integral of a function of y in terms of dy plus c. So in this example we have x times dy plus y times dx equals to zero. It is clear that in this it is not the standard form. We need it to be in the form of the function of x with dx and the function of y with dy. So in order to continue, we need to rewrite the equation into the standard form. 
In this example, we only need to divide all terms by xy right through. In the first term, it will cancel x and replace it with 1 over y, which is a valid function of y. We need to do the same to the second term. Divide by yx and y is replaced by 1 over x, which is a valid function for x. So now we have it in the form of a function of y times dy plus a function of x times dx. If it's not obvious to you that this is a standard form, we can also rewrite it as 1 over i and 1 over x. This will give you the, the idea that, that the standard form is being presented here. When we introduce the integrals in both terms, if it's not obvious to you that these are standard integrals, we can rewrite it like this. This will also give you more of a standard notation to what you used to classically. But for the sake of elegant notations, we're just going to keep it in a compact form. We can now take the integral of each term. This will leave us with ln y plus ln x. If you want to show how we got there, the form of dx over x needs to be rewritten to the standard form so that we can see the dy over dx and the derivative of a function of x over the function of x. We may recognize that the derivative of a function of x over the function of x is a standard derivative. From the standard integrals, we know that the derivative of a function of x over the function of x to be the derivative of lin of a function of x. Therefore, we have a standard integral where the derivative of a function of x over the function of x will integrate to the lin of a function of x. For this reason, we can integrate dy over y to lin y and the same for x. We can resolve this further. We can use the law of logs to further reduce the equation. Since c is not known, we can play with it and convert it into the lin function of k. This will give us a lin in every term. And because the lin of y plus the lin of x give us the lin of yx, we can solve this. Remember, the fundamental law of logs state that log a plus log b equals to the log of ab. Hence, we can say that the lin yx is equal to lin k. This means that yx equals to k. Remember that k cannot be equal to zero because lin of zero is not allowed. Lin of k may be important as it is a function of c and c may be zero. In the case where c is zero, it is important to know that k is equal to one and not zero since the log of one equals zero. So in many cases, it will be important to remember what k is k is e to the power of c and cannot be zero. So let's go through the basic steps again. First we rewrite it to the standard form. Then we apply the integrals. Then we solve the standard integral. And then we simplify using logs and various algebra laws and then analyze the result and rules for possible violations. Please view the next tutorial on exact differential equations. And thank you for listening to this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel or to leave a comment below.